Okay. We needed to get out of the Airstream. <laughs> we've been working, besides going down to the beach earlier today, we've been working nonstop. And so we decided we're gonna take a drive, maybe stop, make some photography, see some pretty things. We're not gonna go to the nearest towns. We're gonna go to Gold Beach tomorrow and Port Orford the next day. So those we're gonna save, but we will see some of the coast. There was a spot I saw coming in. It's about eight miles north. Let's see if we can find it. First random pull off. Let's see what we got. Not too shabby. The nice part of this part of 101 is that there's all these random pull-offs along the ocean. Big enough for RVs too. Plenty big enough for RVs. Including the one that's here. Our hearts were in the right place, but the sun was not in the right place. Just not. It's alright though. I don't know if you heard me out there or not. I said our hearts were in the right place, but the sun was not in the right place. The sun just, I mean, the light wasn't good for photography right now. So we're gonna try again when we go to Gold Beach, Penny's Huffin' and Puffin' tomorrow. But for now, we've been asked incessantly to show how we cook in the Airstream. So we're gonna do just that. Tonight we're going to be making a spaghetti squash. And you could do almost anything with spaghetti squash, uh, Italian sauces, whatever. But tonight we're gonna do a peanut sauce. So the first step is to just cook the spaghetti squash. I do this in the Instapot. I do it as easy as I can, which means my knives are not very sharp right now. I just cut, cut the spaghetti squash in half. Take out all the seeds. Okay, seeds out. The hardest part is squishing both of these in here. I've learned that it's okay if they're on their side. A cup of water in the bottom. I have them on a rack so they're not sitting right in the water. And that's it. You want seven minutes on manual high. And then we will shred the spaghetti squash and make the sauce, which I'll show you later. By the way, that's called releasing pressure in an Instapot. In case you didn't know. We're just gonna release the pressure and then I will open it up and I will let the spaghetti squash cool and then uh, make some more dinner in a little bit after happy hour. One last thing to prep before happy hour, a quick pickled cucumber dish. So I have some vinegar in a tub of ware. Um, normally I use rice wine or apple cider, but I'm out of both, so I'm just using white. Some soy sauce. Well, not for real. It's um, coconut aminos because I can't have soy sauce, but it's similar. <laughs> Honey. 
some red pepper flakes. We like ours a little spicy. Give that a quick mix so everything dissolves in the vinegar. Thinly sliced cucumbers and thinly sliced onion. We'll mix this up, throw it in the fridge, and uh, mix it a couple times while we're cooking dinner, and then top our peanut butter sauce with it. It's delicious. It is delicious and easy. Just a quick little pickle. Speaking of happy hour. Happy hour's done, time to make dinner. Cauliflower and onion going in the pan with some oil. Really, you could use anything you wanted. This just happens to be the veggies we like and we have. Gonna saute them a bit while I make the sauce and finish shredding the zucchini, the uh, spaghetti squash. So, spaghetti squash. The reason I cut it in half this way is you actually get longer strands of, well, spaghetti. Squash. <laughs> Spaghetti-ish. Spaghetti-ish. Material. So I just go around and shred it and then put it into the bowl. We're gonna cook this in the sauce, but for now I just need to get it out of the squash itself. See these nice strands. They do not taste like spaghetti. They do not really have the mouthfeel of spaghetti, but they are delicious. They look like spaghetti. Delicious. Sort of. Steve likes them too though, right? Yes, I do. So we're trying to be lower very carb. Good. Very good. When we're not working out at Planet Fitnesses. So. Now I'm gonna make the peanut butter sauce, which this is my ingredient for peanut butter sauce in this bowl, and then put it all together. want hotter, add some sriracha. Some a little extra red curry sauce. It's a little more red than normal, but still delicious. You can never have too much red curry sauce. These have sauteed up a bit. We have some leftover Asian meatballs that we had the other night from Costco. Those aren't normal. We don't normally put those in. No. But we do, or we are now, because we have them. <laughs> And they're delicious. Gotta use the leftovers. Okay. Now I will add peanut butter sauce. This is gonna have to cook a bit. This is not very good on the water conservation, but we have water here at this campground, so I'm not worried about it. Otherwise, Steve would be eating out of this bowl, which he never really complains though. <laughs> Because there's sauce. There's delicious sauce in there. Then, once the stir. sauce is mixed in. Stir. Okay, sauce is now warm, bubbling. Spaghetti squash is going in. This is when you have to start being a little gentle because it will break apart. Which is not a big deal. You just don't get long strands of spaghetti squash. Very hearty, warm meal, very low carb. High protein, because of the peanut butter. Because of the peanut butter. 
Okay, Steve, I think you need to take a taste. Boom. Needs to warm up a little bit more. This is one of Steve's favorites. I love peanut butter and red curry. Oh man, that's good. Turns out great every time. We got our peanut sauce spaghetti squash in the bowl. We're gonna top it with some of this cold pickled onion and zucchini, or I mean a uh, cucumber, not zucchini. Like that. Little handful of cashews. Get some almonds mixed in there. And a little bit of sriracha for extra heat. Boom. And dinner is served. Oh, yes. Let's eat. Patty's ready. Yep. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and that sounds so official. We're gonna eat, then we're gonna go to bed, then we're gonna get up, then we're gonna brush our teeth, we might go to the bathroom between that, whatever. And then we're, we're gonna go to Gold Beach tomorrow and check that out. Brewery. Brewery, oh yeah, baby. Gotta love the breweries. We'll take you along. I guess so, yeah, we'll take you along. Dinner now, see ya. Bye. Oh, baby. What do you think, Pats? Is someone excited for dinner? Yeah, is someone excited? Mm -hmm.